Hi again, this is Peter Lindemann and this is Tesla Chargers. Today we want to talk about the Energenix load, uh, battery load box. This is a, uh, an analog um, device for loading down big batteries for uh, people who want to operate a large uh, battery system uh, for rejuvenation. And as you can see down below here, we have some big L16s. These are a 6 volt uh, 500 amp hour batteries, typical of a, a big solar house or, or that kind of installation. And so what I want to do is I want to show you how this machine um, works and what it does to batteries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, these terminals are set up for uh, connecting into these batteries. And so as soon as I hook it up, as soon as I hook it up to the battery, it's completely operated by the power from the batteries that you're discharging. It doesn't need another power supply. And so um, the cooling fan immediately comes on and the voltage of the battery that you're going to be discharging automatically uh, is showing on the meter. Okay? And um, so the unit, uh, I, could, I could turn it off here and then the whole thing is just inert. As soon as I turn it on, then uh, it goes into this mode and um, so it has uh, these four buttons and they're, they're labeled four ohms, two ohms, one ohm and half an ohm and each one of them has an indicator light so um, uh, when, when this is on a 12 volt system and this is only to be put on 12 volt batteries so if I put four, a four ohm load on a 12 volt battery it draws about three amps as you would be able to figure out through Ohm's law so if I put a 2 ohm load on here, it'll draw about 6 amps. If I put a 1 ohm load, it'll draw about 12 amps. And if I put a half ohm load on a 12 volt battery, it'll draw about 24 amps. So I can choose any of these settings and or any combination of settings. So there's 15 different discharging um, levels um, all the way up to about 49 or 48 uh, amps, so uh, it can uh, easily discharge large batteries in a, in a, in a fairly short period of time. So uh, let me just show you what happens. You can see that the battery says it's, it's good. This battery is sitting right now, this 12 volt battery is sitting at 13.6 because we just topped it in another demonstration. So that's normally a, a, these batteries would sit and top it at 12.6. So you can see that these are, are still coming down from their last charge. So um, what I can do is, as I push one of these buttons, it puts the 4, load, the four ohm load onto it, and this light comes on, and you can see then the, the battery starts discharging a little bit. Put another one on here, and so you can see that these numbers will start coming down a little bit more, and then I put a 12, 12 uh, amp load on it, and now it starts coming down a lot, so I've got a uh, a 3 and a 6 and a 12, so this is um, uh, 21 amps altogether, and then this is uh, another about 24 amps altogether, so this is really going to kick it down. And you can hear the fan slowing down, and uh, you can see the, uh, the voltage on the battery dropping. So right now we're, we're, we're pulling out somewhere around um, 45, 46 amps. Um, because the, the voltage is still a, b a little bit above 12 volts. And um, so uh, I, can, I can set up any uh, kind of discharges. I don't have to just do it in that order. I can reset it just by uh, just flipping them all off by hitting the reset button. So I could, I could pick uh, just this one and this one, for instance. I can, I can discharge the battery at any rate I want or I can just just uh, do a single uh, 24 uh, amp load and so on. So this is how um, this is how the unit works and um, uh, so it still says it's uh, in, in, in the good range. It's, in other words it's able to maintain um, the, uh, the, the load uh, and uh, that, that we're asking it to maintain. So, for instance, if the batteries weren't any good, then this voltage would drop more quickly and then, then the red light would come on saying uh, the battery can't handle the, the level of load that you've asked it to um, uh, discharge at. 
So this is really good for um, cycling much larger batteries, golf cart batteries, um, L16s, that kind of stuff, up to probably 500 amp hour uh, batteries. Um, so you could go up to about a thousand amp hour battery uh, discharging it at in, in the 50 amp range. So that would be about the C20 dis discharge rate for a thousand amp battery. Uh, so this thing can handle uh, really big batteries. So this is, a, this is the kind of unit that you would use um, kind of to back up uh, a system for discharging really larger batteries. Ones that you know have to be discharged on a certain schedule and you're not going to be tracking uh, those on a computer unless you have some sort of external uh, software package. So um, that's the Energenix uh, load box. Um, this is how it works. It's a 12 volt up to 45, 50 amp um, loader for uh, cycling large batteries for a rejuvenation um, cycling. And again, uh, my name is Peter Lindemann and this is Tesla Chargers.